book watch, okay? I'm gonna read my own book today, Hero City, book one, The Revenge of the Savage Lion. Chapter five. After I put on autopilot and made it so that it just stopped in a place where unzombie people or any organic matter that was now endangered because of the monsters that appeared with the zombies. What do you want to find? What do you want to find, flamethrower? I want to find an endangered animal. How about you, Electro Punch? I want to find some surviving humans. This is when the scanner beeped. Organic matter detected. How many? Two, the computer answered. Okay, elect okay, Electro Punch. I see a zoo down there. You get the one that's in the south, and I'll get the one in the north. I said as I opened the hangar door. We'll be back soon, I told Steel Ripper. Then I flew toward the north, while Electro Punch ran in super speed toward the south. I flew, crinkling my nose in disgust as I saw hundreds of tourist zombies milling around aimlessly. That was when I saw him. Or it, you should say. A lion with tainted red fur that should have been golden. The great blackish mane, looking evil as the devil himself, and its eyes, its terrible red-veined eyes, its pupil shred, and its white part, or the part that should have been white, black. Finally, a hero, a hero from the place where I must have to, my revenge. Would you care? To show me the way, the lion said with its terrible, scratchy, evil voice. Nope, I snapped. The lion was silent for a moment. Then it roared and ch then charged. Roar! I flew out of slashing range and blasted the lion in the face with my fire. It had no effect. It roared and the sound blasted out like a laser beam and blasted me out of the air. I fell with a thud. I stood up, then flew about ten feet high. Then I gathered up my power. Then I channeled flames into my hand. Using the flames, I made a wall of fire, a tsunami of flames. I closed my eyes and concentrated. I wheeled my tsunami of flames to crash against Savage Line. Oh yes, I remembered the name that haunted the history book of Hero City. I opened my eyes. The, the tsunami of flames crashed against the lion. Did I defeat him? I looked closely. A red furred fist came flying and caught me in the chest. I felt unbearable pain on my chest as I fell down to the ground. This was when I heard Steel Ripper. Go! Run! Back to the jet! Collect Electro Punch! Forget about me! Steel Ripper pounded his knuckles together. A steel gauntlet wrapped around his clenched fist. On the gauntlet, blunt spikes poked out of the places where his knuckles should be. He was almost as big as Savage Lion, but still small compared to it. Ah! He yelled as he charged. Savage Lion met his charge and the two punched each other. You won worthless apprentice, Savage Lion growled. No, Last Lion was my trainer, and you, you're not him. Ah! The Steel Ripper tried to punch Savage Lion's face, but he caught the fist with his hands. Your power is supposed to be super strength, but this isn't super strength. This is a weakling, Savage Lion spat. Then he punched Steel Ripper on the chest. Steel Ripper staggered backwards. Savage Lion then threw ten punches, each new punch harder than the last one. Then he kicked Steel Ripper on the chest, blasting him back, and Steel Ripper crashed into a cement wall, then fell to the ground in a, with a deafening thud. No! I yelled. Savage Lion saw me on the jet. Then he grinned. That's the end of chapter 5. If that isn't enough action for you, wait till you get to the climax, huh? Bye, guys. Gotta run. And
I think there's a weird red vein dyed lines outside my window. Gotta go check.